All right, so I had some questions in the comments about a different kind of induction question um, related to the stamps. So in this question, you were given six cent stamps and seven cent stamps and asked to show that you could create any combination of postage um, using these stamps above some value N0, and the goal was to figure out what the value of N0 was. And I described in the comments how to do this, but somebody asked for it in the form of an equation. So let's see how we could do this a little more rigorously using an equation. And the idea is basically um, P of N is the proposition that N equals 6 times A plus 7 times B, where A and B are integers bigger than or equal to 0. And that's the same as saying there's some combination of 6 cent stamps, A of them, and 7 cent stamps, B of them, that adds up to a postage value of N. And we know that um, P of 35 is true because that says there's a way to express 35 as 7 times some positive or 0 integer. And in fact, 35 is equal to 7 times 5 plus 6 times 0. So P of 35 is true. So to do the induction, we need to show the following. Um, given P of n, where n is bigger than or equal to 35, prove P of n plus 1. If we can do that, then given the base case P of 35, we can conclude by mathematical induction that P of n is true for all values of n bigger than or equal to 35. Well, so what does P of n say? P of n says n equals 6 times a plus 7 times b, where a and b are bigger than or equal to 0. And everything's an integer in here, so I won't keep saying a and b are integers. So we'd like to write n plus 1 as something times 6 plus something times 7. And there's two possibilities. So case 1, if a is bigger than or equal to 1, then I can do 6 times a minus 1 plus 7 times b plus 1. And by just plugging in and doing the algebra, this is equal to 6a minus 6 plus 7b plus 7, which is 6a plus 7b minus 6 plus 7 is plus 1. And 6a plus 7b is equal to n. And so this combination of 6 and 7 is equal to n plus 1. And since b is bigger than or equal to 0, we know this is bigger than or equal to 0. And since a is bigger than or equal to 1, we know that a minus 1 is bigger than or equal to 0. And so we've succeeded in writing n plus 1 as 6 times something bigger than or equal to 0, plus 7 times something bigger than or equal to 0. And so we can say, therefore, p of n plus 1 is true in this case. The other possibility, since a is bigger than or equal to 0, but if it's not bigger than or equal to 1, then a is equal to 0. Well, if a is equal to 0, then n is equal to 6 times 0 is 0. It's just equal to 7b. Now, b is an integer, and b is equal to n over 7. And if n is bigger than or equal to 35, b has got to be then bigger or equal to 5. And we know it's an integer because we're told that pn is true, so it's 7 times some integer gives us n. So we're, we know that in this case, a is 0, but b is bigger than or equal to 5. And so now here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to write um, 6 plus 7 times b minus 5. And I'm going to do 6 times 6 plus 7 times b minus 5. And I'm going to see what this is equal to. Well, this is going to be 36 plus 7b minus 35. And 7b is equal to n. 
and 36 minus 35 is 1. And so in this case, where a was not bigger than or equal to 1, I found 6 times some integer bigger than or equal to 0 plus 7 times some other integer is equal to n plus 1. And since b is bigger than or equal to 5, this is bigger than or equal to 0. This is clearly bigger than or equal to 0 because it's the number 6. And so I found some number times 6 plus some number times 7 equal to n plus 1 which satisfies the requirements for p of n. So what I've done here is I've shown that in this case p of n plus 1 is also true because I found a combination of 6 and 7 linear combination that adds up to n plus 1. And these are the only cases. a is either bigger than or equal to 1 or it's not bigger than or equal to 1. And so in either case given p of n we've proven p of n plus 1. So now we can wrap it up and say therefore p of n implies p of n plus 1 for all n bigger than or equal to 35. Therefore p of n itself is true for all n bigger than or equal to 35 and the reason is mathematical induction which is what we were trying to show. So that's, that's a little bit more uh, formula-based, equation-based way of doing these postage stamp questions. The intuition is the same, right? If, if you have a six cent champ, stamp, change it into a seven cent stamp. If you have no sixes, you have enough sevens that you can take away five and then add three, six sixes, and that'll bump you up by one cent. So hope that helps. Thanks.